1990, Vietnam was among the poorest countries in the world. Poverty, disease, and illiteracy confronted many Vietnamese people. After 20 years of efforts to develop the country, income rates grew, and the poverty rate fell. The country saw better living conditions, better nutrition, and a higher level of education for its people. In 2010, Vietnam became a lower middle income country. However, has it really escaped poverty? Let's follow the story of two brothers from a remote mountainous province of Vietnam. Phung Cong and Phung Tat. Born in a poor family with unstable income, the brothers never had enough to eat and buy new clothes. Living in a remote village with very limited access to school, Phung Kong and Phung Tat could only finish secondary school. Both brothers worked on the farm to support their family. They continued to live in poverty after each of them got married. Older brother Phung Kong and his wife decided to move to the city and look for better opportunities. However, it was very hard to find good jobs in the city with their limited education and work experience. Phung Kong could only get a low-paying job in a factory, while his wife sold food on the street. Back in the province, Phung Tat's family relied on farming and raising livestock. They often sold their products at a low price. They lacked information about market prices of goods. Poor road conditions made it hard to bring goods to the market. In the city, low income led to poor living conditions for Phung Kong's family. They lived in a very small house and often faced power blackouts and poor water supply. In the mountains, Phung Tat was having a hard time providing for his wife and four children. In the city, after finishing primary school, Phung Kong's children were not able to enter secondary school because the family could not afford education costs such as tuition fees textbooks, and school uniforms. Living in an isolated village in the mountains, Phung Tat's children also faced difficulties going to school and eventually dropped out. Both Phung Kong and Phung Tat's jobs were easily affected by external shocks. In 2008, when the economy slowed down, Phung Kong's factory closed and he lost his job. He found a temporary job in a construction site. But when the real estate market froze and inflation shot up, he lost his job again. Life became harder. The whole family had to work hard to earn a living. His children had to sell newspapers on the street to help support the family. Life was also harder for Phung Tat and his family when flooding and a livestock epidemic devastated their area. Despite these hardships, both brothers continued to work hard and look forward to a brighter future. These two families are among nearly 15 million poor people in Vietnam. What will it take to end poverty in Vietnam?